You know, you probably heard it said before that if you're the family of a pastor, you're always in danger of being part of a sermon illustration. And even though Beth isn't here today, uh, she gave me permission. So just so y'all know. <laughs> so I got a story long ago dating a young lady named Beth Hamby. And one faithful day, I looked deeply into her eyes and I said, I love you. And Beth said, how do you know? <laughs> how do you know? Well, I just, you know, I just do. That day, I did not hear I love you back. And you know, it was very awkward. And afterwards, thinking about it, I was like, well, I guess that's the end of that, you know. And then, then you start to get that little bit of a heartbreak in the midst of it. But I'm glad to report that soon after she did say, I love you. And we've been married for over 12 years now. So a good ending to it. But have you ever said, I love you and not heard it back? Or have you ever told someone I love you and they didn't say it back to you? Did you know that God is the first one to say, I love you to us? God loves you. In 1 John 4 and 10, it says, And this is love. And this is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. So this is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us first. So He was the first to say, I love you. He took action. He sent His Son, Jesus, to be the propitiation. That's the atoning sacrifice. That is paying our sin debt fully, that He took the punishment that we deserve. God says, I love you. How have you responded to that? Have you told Him that you love Him? The beginning, really, of telling God that you love Him is accepting Jesus, that sacrifice for our sin, telling Him, I love you. But you know, in a relationship... You say, I love you at the beginning, but you don't just say it that one time, do you? You continue to say, I love you. You, you know, continue to do that. And Jesus said that if you love me, you keep my commandments. But do you remember how Jesus summarized his commandments? Love God and love people. And in 1 John, if you look in that chapter of chapter 4, he talks a lot about loving others. So when we love God, that should really be shown too in us loving God others. And you know, communication also is a big part of relationship. We need to listen. We need to speak to deepen that relationship. And God wants us to listen to Him and He wants us to speak to Him to deepen that relationship. So for this Valentine's Day, I want you just to remember, God loves you. He does. Tell God that you love Him too. Tell him that you love him too. He wants to hear those words from you. And he wants to see those actions as we love God and love others. Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for allowing us to gather together and have this time of fellowship and uh, rejoicing together. And I thank you that you, you do love us. That you have given us your love letter and your word. And that we know that you will walk with us and that you want to hear from us, Lord. You desire the best for us. And I pray that you help us just to to pour that love, that same love out to others and that you would just continue to guide us in all the things that we say, all the things that we do, Lord. Help us to have a forgiving heart. Help us to be patient with each other and help us just to honor you with all the things that we do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen.